It looks like SpaceX has made a surprising last-minute move regarding Starship's much-anticipated Flight 9. With fans across the world eagerly awaiting updates, news just broke about changes that might affect the schedule. So, what exactly happened and more importantly, when is the new launch expected to take place? Hey, I'm Lucas and welcome back to the SpaceX community. Buckle up because we're diving deep into all the latest developments surrounding Starship Flight 9 and what this could mean for the future of spaceflight. As of May 8, 2025, SpaceX has yet to officially confirm a fixed launch date for Starship Flight 9. However, several clues have surfaced suggesting that a launch might be imminent. Industry sources and observers have pointed toward a mid to late May window, with May 19, 2025 emerging as a likely target. But, as always in the world of rocket science, there's a caveat delays are entirely possible. A recent explosion during a static fire test and ongoing regulatory processes involving the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, could very well shift the timeline once again. What further hints at progress is the road closure notice for May 9, 2025 at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas. These closures often precede major testing activities or actual launch operations, and while they don't guarantee a launch, they do indicate that key preparations are actively underway. Still, we don't yet have clear confirmation that this specific closure lines up directly with the launch of Flight 9. It's an exciting signal, but also a reminder that nothing is final until SpaceX makes it official. Starship Flight 9 will utilize Booster 14 and Ship 35. Notably, this mission marks the first time SpaceX is reusing a Super Heavy booster. Booster 14 was previously flown, and its upcoming flight will be a crucial milestone in SpaceX's drive toward full reusability. Ship 35, meanwhile, has also been in the spotlight, having completed essential tests such as cryogenic proofing and static fire assessments. These tests are necessary to simulate launch conditions and confirm that the vehicle can withstand extreme environments before actually lifting off. The sheer complexity of the Starship system cannot be overstated. With 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster and 6 more on the upper Starship stage, there are dozens of moving parts, each of which must operate flawlessly. Any problem in any one of these components, whether it's a software glitch, hardware failure, or combustion instability, can cause mission delays. And while SpaceX has made remarkable progress in the past two years, every flight is a new test, a new challenge, and a new opportunity to learn. SpaceX has made it clear that they are aiming for up to 25 Starship launches in 2025, an ambitious goal that demonstrates both their confidence and their aggressive development philosophy. But quantity doesn't override caution. Each of these missions must receive the green light from both internal engineering reviews and external regulatory bodies like the FAA. Every new launch must meet strict safety, environmental, and compliance criteria, especially when it involves large-scale fuel burns, sonic booms, and proximity to populated areas. For those who might be new to the program, Starship is SpaceX's flagship next-generation launch system. It's a fully reusable spacecraft designed to transport cargo and crew not just to Earth orbit, but to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The system is composed of two main components, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship Upper Stage. Both stages are powered by SpaceX's Raptor engines, which use a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, a choice that's both efficient and practical for off-Earth refueling in the future. Starship's development has followed an iterative path. Since the first integrated launch back in April 2023, SpaceX has completed eight total flights by January 2025. The results so far? A 50% success rate, four successes and four failures. But each failure has contributed valuable insights into what went wrong and how to fix it. The learning curve is steep but SpaceX is climbing it rapidly. Every test flight adds another layer of knowledge from engine behavior and flight stability to heat shield performance and recovery systems. Flight 7, which occurred in January 2025, marked a major breakthrough. During this mission, SpaceX successfully used the launch tower's massive chopsticks to catch the descending Super Heavy booster, a critical part of their reusability strategy. This mechanical catch system is designed to reduce turnaround time and improve launch cadence. However, the upper stage of Flight 7 didn't fare as well. A propellant leak caused the vehicle to be lost during re-entry. It was a setback, but also a learning experience that will inform the next flights. Now, turning to Flight 9, both Booster 14 and Ship 35 have cleared major pre-launch tests. Ship 35 underwent cryogenic proofing, where it was filled with super-chilled liquids to simulate launch pressures and temperatures. It also completed a static fire with one Raptor engine to ensure all systems were nominal. 
Booster 14, reused from Flight 7, will be flying again but this time with 29 of its 33 engines active. These steps signal SpaceX's growing confidence in not just launching Starship, but relaunching it again and again. Even with those preparations though, the actual launch date remains unconfirmed. The best guess at the moment, based on road closures and insider leaks, is May 19, 2025, at 2330 Universal Time Coordinated. That said, a May 2nd report mentioned delays due to an engine anomaly during a static fire test. Another update from May 6th hinted at a possible rescheduling. These kinds of timeline shifts are par for the course with cutting-edge technology. Patience is essential when pushing the boundaries of aerospace engineering. If you haven't already, this is a great time to subscribe to our channel. We post updates regularly on everything from SpaceX launches and NASA missions to telescope discoveries and planetary science. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single update, especially now with so much happening in the world of spaceflight. Every mission matters and we're here to help break it down in plain English. Another complicating factor for Flight 9 is FAA involvement. Each launch must be licensed, and any pending investigations, especially following engine failures or structural anomalies, can delay approvals. SpaceX must also satisfy environmental impact assessments, particularly in South Texas where Starbase operates near sensitive wildlife zones. These assessments cover everything from noise pollution and debris risk to the effects of shockwaves on local ecosystems. It's a lot more than just launching rockets, it's about doing so responsibly. Flight 9 is expected to accomplish several key milestones. One of the biggest is the first in-space ignition of the Raptor engines on the upper stage. While this has been demonstrated in ground-based static fires, in-flight ignition under orbital conditions is far more complex. Success here would represent a significant leap toward full mission profiles that include deep space maneuvers, planetary transfers, and orbital refueling. SpaceX is also refining Starship's re-entry sequence. The goal is not just survival through the atmosphere but control, targeted landings, reusable recovery, and eventually, catches by the launch tower. Achieving this will complete the loop on full reusability. For now, they're still wrestling with heat shield durability and aerodynamic control, especially during high-speed descent. But if anyone can crack the code, it's SpaceX, with their blend of rapid testing, adaptive engineering, and sheer determination. When stacked together, Starship and Super Heavy stand nearly 120 meters tall, making them the largest and most powerful rocket ever built. It can carry up to 100 tons to low Earth orbit in reusable mode or up to 150 tons in expendable mode, more than any other spacecraft in history. The vehicle's 9-meter diameter payload bay can accommodate massive satellites, space habitats, or even crew quarters for long missions. And its heat shield, made of thousands of hexagonal tiles, is built to survive re-entry speeds exceeding 27,000 km per hour. Looking further into 2025, SpaceX plans up to 25 Starship launches from Starbase alone. The FAA has preliminarily approved this plan, along with up to 50 tower catches, 25 for Super Heavy and 25 for Starship. If they pull it off, it will mark a new era of high-frequency, low-cost orbital access. One of the biggest upcoming demonstrations will be ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer in orbit, a crucial requirement for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. NASA's increasing involvement also adds legitimacy and momentum to the program. Starship has been selected for use in the Artemis program, with a specialized variant under development for crewed lunar landings. This partnership illustrates the value of public-private collaboration, blending NASA's experience and oversight with SpaceX's speed and innovation. These developments not only affect lunar exploration but also pave the way for sustainable logistics chains and deep space outposts in the coming decades. Still, challenges remain. The static fire explosion that recently delayed Flight 9 is a reminder of how delicate this system still is. With 33 Raptor engines on the booster and 6 on the ship, each with its own fuel lines, software, valves, and pumps, even a single fault can derail the entire mission. And while technical issues are one concern, regulatory delays and environmental objections are another. SpaceX continues to refine its launch infrastructure including the use of water deluge systems to mitigate launch noise and debris impact. Economically, Starship's potential is game-changing. SpaceX estimates that the cost of launching Starship could fall to just backslash $2 million per flight, unprecedented in the industry. This opens doors to space tourism, asteroid mining, satellite megaconstellations, and even interplanetary travel. Compared to the Falcon 9, which lifts about 22.8 tons to orbit, or NASA's non-reusable SLS.
which manages 95 tons, Starship's combination of payload capacity and reusability is unmatched. It could redefine access to space as we know it. The public response has been overwhelmingly supportive. Each Starship launch garners millions of livestream views. Social media platforms, especially X, formerly Twitter, light up with real-time analysis, excitement, and fan art. Beyond entertainment, the program has educational impacts too, fueling STEM interest worldwide and offering internships, resources, and inspiration to a new generation of space enthusiasts. Even concerns around methane usage are being addressed through carbon-neutral production strategies and sustainable practices. In summary, while Starship Flight 9 doesn't have a confirmed launch date as of May 8, 2025, all signs suggest a target in mid to late May, with May 19 as the current frontrunner. That said, technical hurdles like the static fire explosion and regulatory steps like FAA licensing mean delays are still very much on the table. The successful testing of Booster 14 and Ship 35 shows real progress, but also highlights the complexity involved in building the world's most powerful reusable rocket system. As SpaceX moves forward with its 2025 ambitions, including orbital refueling and tower catches, Starship remains the centerpiece of humanity's push to become a multiplanetary species. The implications are enormous, economic, scientific, societal, and even philosophical. We're not just building a rocket, we're building the future. Thanks for watching today's episode. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Stay tuned. There's always more on the launch pad and we'll be right here to keep you updated.